thank you for the turnout. Uh, when I put these together, you never quite know how many folks are going to turn up. Uh, so to almost fill the room is uh, is great. And uh, so thank you for taking time out of your week to come and listen and ask the questions. And uh, uh, same to the speakers who have taken time out of their schedule to come and be here. So I want to give you kind of a an outline of the evening and a list of the speakers, um, and kind of the format, so to speak. Uh, we're going to start out with uh, Laura Lau, who's running for uh, Circuit Court Judge in Waukesha County. Uh, she's a constituent of mine. Uh, I've endorsed her for that position. Uh, I think she's great, and she's going to lead us off with uh, about five minutes or so of some information about her and her campaign and uh, the local community. Next will be, uh, and I promised I wouldn't do the full resume, I'll let him do that, but former alderman, former mayor, uh, educator, and current county board supervisor for the area in which we're sitting right now, uh, Larry Nelson. Next will be um, Principal Dennis Griffin from Prairie Elementary. Good evening, everyone. Waving over there. Uh, two of my sons go to Prairie uh, in the next year or so. Uh, my daughter will go there as well. I have the privilege of uh, representing Prairie Elementary on the Superintendent's Advisory Council. Uh, and I value that very much. Next after that will be uh, the representatives from uh, Connor and Vern from Big Top Baseball, as well as our City Administrator, Kevin Lehner. And then the Waukesha County Board Supervisor, uh, President, uh, Chair. Paul Decker. Chair. Chair. Chairman. <laughs> uh, Amanda Roddy was uh, agreed to be here tonight, but she has the flu, so we hope she feels better. She's not here. Uh, we actually thank her for not coming. Uh, so she texted me this morning, and she's been in bed the last couple of days and struggling, so uh, we should the best. But, uh, and then lastly, me. You can ask me some questions, and I'll give some information as well. Uh, anything you want to ask me is. Uh, I have a question. Is there any way to get this turned off? I'm certainly, I love the music, but yeah, I'm going to get it turned off. Thank you. Yeah. Front door. Yeah, I'll get it over. Thank you. So, uh, without further ado, uh, I, I, just going to give you an idea of the format and topics and stuff like that. What I told each speaker and what I put out there uh, in the media and on social media is each speaker. We're going to give them anywhere from five to say 15 minutes to present, speak. They may have handouts. And we're going to take two or three questions with each speaker. We're not going to do more than three. Because what this is also an opportunity to do is to connect with those in your community. I invited uh, every level of government. I invited Governor Walker, in fact. Um, to his credit, he did get back to me and said it, it wasn't going to work out. But I did invite our state senator, our state rep, and they're in session today, so uh, it's unlikely that they'll be here, but uh, if there's a game time decision and they can come, then we'll make time for that. But what I wanted to give all of us as constituents and residents of the community the opportunity to do is connect with all the people in your community from government, you know, be it city, county, state, uh, education, and hear about what's going on and have an opportunity to ask some questions. So even if your question doesn't get taken tonight, please connect with that person. Uh, I asked all of them to bring uh, business cards and things like that. But you at least know who to contact if you have a question. So uh, hopefully that makes our community better. So we'll start then with uh, Laura Lau. Thank you. 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 Thank you.